Okay, everybody, and we welcome you back going into the break. We told you Sean the Science Kid is going to be our special guest. He's there. He's all set. Nobody rocks the bow tie, Des, online like Sean. Oh, my gosh. He's the best. Sean, welcome. I, I've been Hi. so excited to talk to you now for weeks and weeks. How are you? I'm not just doing amazing. I am doing absolutely scientifically beautifully. <laughs> I love it. You've been a oh. member of Mensa starting at what age? Four. The age of four. Four. That's got to yeah, be like a the Guinness. Age of four. It's got to be a Guinness. Wow. World and you're right now there. ten, yeah. correct? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm 36. Uh, <laughs> but I'll be turning 11 in a few days. Oh, happy early birthday. When's your birthday? Thank you. September 20. Oh, uh, We're okay. going to roll happy some of the birthday. video here from uh, all your various posts here. How did you first get started? And what is it about what you do that literally has millions of people gravitating toward you? Well, first of all, it's all about the way, it's all about like giving the speech, like the way you pronounce it and the way you give it. It's all about the way you speak. Because if I were to be like, let's say a college lecturer, people say that I would captivate their attention because of the way I speak interestingly. I add remarks and jokes and sometimes even references to shows in my speeches and educations. Yes, you well, are you are so fascinating. You are, Sean, and you're really into science. So you have 1.5 million followers just on Instagram alone and you teach us all about different scientific concepts. So what is it about science that you fell in love with at such a young age? The explanation of Tori nature of it. It explains everything. All of your questions about the world, science can get it answered for you. Like the second you have a question on why is this working? Science rushes in with a lecture and then just teleports you to its thesis room so that it can give you a detailed explanation on how a concept works because nothing's better than learning. How are you impacting, based on the comments you get when you post, how are you impacting the lives of kids who want to learn more about science? Well, you see, my life goal has been dedicated to educating millions of people online. So I usually like to try my best to impact these people in the most positive way possible by teaching them that science isn't just your boring textbook subject, but science is in everything you do, from the water you drink to the disgustingness of orange juice after brushing your teeth. Science <laughs> explains it all. Wow. So fascinating. So I actually saw one of your most recent interviews you did with Dr. Sanjay Gupta, and I found it so fascinating just the way you spoke about the brain and your love for the brain. So share with us, what's your favorite part of the brain and why is that the case? Sean coming in, the hippocampus <laughs> is my favorite part of the brain because of the way it helps you with memories and connects you to your fast past like I mentioned in the Sanjay Gupta interview, <laughs> the connection so to your past that mm. it gives is amazing because it allows you to remember literally anything. So the next time you get a reminiscent memory, just remember your hippocampus is hard at work allowing you to keep that beautiful moment in your mind forever. Oh. Wow. And, and what do you want to be when you grow up? You, you would like to <laughs> explore yeah. our brains. And, and, and so tell us, what, 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 what we'll see you be, become one day? A neurocardiosurgeon, a.k.a. a brain and heart surgeon. Now, you may be wondering, Sean, obviously, every kid wants to do that. But I also <laughs> want to be a theoretical physicist.
which means I make theories about physics and especially unifying quantum mechanics and relativity. I'm sorry the dreams are a little basic, but I mean, that's all I could come up with. I mean, Sean, you got to aim higher, bud. Uh, (laughs) Wait, real quick question, because I know we have to wrap it up with you soon. Are there any neurocardi... What? Are, are are there any doctors even like that, Sean? I mean, um, two specialties there? Are you going to be the first? My mom found a Facebook group of neurocardiologists, <laughs> but that's basically the only place I've ever seen more than one neurocardio surgeon where that one isn't me. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, we'll go. be looking for you, bud. You wow. are quite impressive. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So you've motivated all of us to become future members of Mensa. Um, yeah, yes. I think that ship has sailed for yeah. you and I. <laughs> yeah, probably so. Sean, you're the best, buddy. Thanks for hanging out with us today on Fox yes, 10 Talks. Thank you, Sean.